What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2021 Top Series 2 Baseball 6-box Jumbo Case Break. Pick your team's number 6. And, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, we sold pretty much the last handful of teams today. Here is the sheet for you guys. And Jonathan sold it out. Got the Orioles last spot mojo. <clears throat> Alright, and then the heavy case. I dropped the case a little bit on the uh, little penny sleeves holder that we have here. It's kind of just all over the place. So, oh wow, I got a 10. I look a lot wider here than I do over here. <laughs> Just looking at the video right now. Alrighty. So you get two individual cards as box toppers. The first one is Walker Bueller. And the second one is Javier Baez. Which are actually really cool cards. You know, it's the 70th anniversary. What the hell's going on here? Whoa. Defective. I see that. No wonder it wasn't fitting. And then we'll leave the silver packs and do those at the end. I think I actually might pack stack the first three. That way it kind of goes by a little bit quicker. Oh, we got two rookies in here. Bobby Delbeck. And Alex Killeroff. Alright, we got Tim Lincecum and Tyler Glass now.
All right, one more box, guys. Sweet. <clears throat> All right, good luck, everybody. So we're just kind of kind of skim through the base. If I remember, I was told correctly. You know, we're just pretty much looking for like Brian Hayes, um, foils, of course, rookie foils, and um, Chisholm, and then uh, rookie there for the Padres, I believe. Cronenworth, right? Those are the big rookies in here in Series 2. Like I said, I think everything does ship in the Jumbo, so regardless if I were to miss something, the shipping team will try to catch it, but if not, like I said, everything gets shipped anyways. To 2021. Quang Young Kim. Sunjin Ryu. Tarek. I'm not one of those bigger rookies just yet. And of course, uh, Jumbo gives you one auto, one relic, and an additional auto or relic. There's Jazz. I seen him hit a triple the other day, man. This dude is fast. Alright, to 2021, Chad Wallach. And Nick Niter for the Marlins. First autograph. Mammy Marlins. Brad Newman. Ronald Acuna Jr. Picking up a little piece of that. Good, good boy. Uh, Hai Seon Kim, that's Luen Diaz, and we got over here, a little foil there, Cole Hamels.
that second half of the box. There's Cronenworth. Cabrian Hayes. So four ninety nine. It is Nathan Avaldi. And Fernando Tatis Jr. All Star Relic. Padres. That is numbered to 199. Very nice. Mike Trout All Stars. Insert. So Tatis, that is Padres. David Duffy. Have one more relic in here, additional hit. Yadi, Diaz, Trout, Christian Pache, Montgomery, Yankees. Did I say Dodgers? So Dodgers for what? Tommy Pham. Jared Oliva. And Aaron Nola. This is like that purple border, I think. Which I believe are a little short printed. Brady Singer. Last of the box right here, and then of course, like I said, this one should have one more hit. It's usually that rookie relic, the rookie logo relic. Austin Barnes. I'm guessing we never are doing this. I guess. Yeah, maybe. Is, did he upload it? That's yeah, probably, yeah. Okay. Then that's what I'm assuming. Okay, cool. Ooh, Ty Cobb. Look at that short print. Very nice. Joe actually just hit his cut autograph a couple days ago. Ty Cobb for uh, Detroit. Tiger's going to Jonathan. That's a cool short print right there. I think if it ends in 4-1 and 4-2, I believe they're short prints. But they usually are flip backwards as well. So I think you should have a problem finding some of those like that. And Christian Pache. Atlanta Braves. Walker Bueller, Aaron Nola. Ah, right, sweet. Is there a basketball today, guys? Yes, basketball. Six uh, five thirty for the day. Yeah, it is. Well, it really is. It's just, it's just the last two digits. 
But here on the camera, I mean, I can't really zoom it in too much. Or I feel like actually I can. But don't want to mess with it. But yeah. It's like the last two digits there. But like I said, the cool thing is that before... I don't, I don't remember if, if years in the past before 2020, they used to have them flipped over. At least not in hobby. So it's kind of tough to figure out. You have to like sort it out by teams and then by players. And then you'll notice, of course, if there was a short print. But... After ripping this a couple times, you'll notice that the photos just look a little different. And most likely, more of the short prints are just older players. Or, like I said, rookies, pretty much. But, not that there isn't any live veteran rookies. Uh, or, sorry, short prints, but... It is pretty tough, though. Oliva. Thank you, Joshua, yeah. A little bit later tonight. I mean, it's kind of late. For an East Coast, for, uh, East Coast team. But I guess it's Sunday, prime time, afternoon game, night game. Jay Cronenworth. Cabrian Hayes. And here's one of them again. So like I said, it's flipped backwards. Alejandro Kirk. For the Toronto Blue Jays. Going to Matt DeLeo. There you go, man. Yeah, Joshua, you know, I experienced that a couple years ago when I went to the Eagles game in Philly. Don't get me wrong, it's cool that, that the games don't start till 1 o'clock because I feel like there's kind of pros and cons, right? Games don't start till 1 o'clock, so you kind of have the morning to do what you got to do if there's any chores. Anything you have to commit to early in the morning before 1 o'clock to start football. At least that's how I think of it, you know? Right? But here on the West Coast... You know, if the game started at 10 o'clock. Now, I think that's kind of cool, though, too, right? If you don't have to work on a Sunday and you're just being lazy, you can watch, You can wake up like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and, you know, watch some, some games from bed. Then get up, figure out going to go to, like, a bar or, you know, watch the game somewhere. Friends and family, right, Mountcastle? You know, you can do it at 1 o'clock. And... But, yes, the down part of that is that, yeah, games are, like, super late, like, Imagine being a living from the from the West Coast to the East Coast. You know, let's say like you like Lakers basketball. It's not gonna start till like ten thirty at night. Then you're up till like one in the morning watching a game. While over here on the West Coast, it's like ten. You know. Yeah, it's just that's the thing, and especially you have to commit to an early morning because of work. I feel that though. Thankfully, my job here is all late night stuff. So, if anything, in the morning hours I'm kind of sleeping, but. But yeah, that's kind of the cool thing, though. I kind of like watching football 10 in the morning, but I can see why people like it at 1 o'clock to start. East Coast West. Uh, these are facsimiles, and then they're the 70th, so they're just uh, reprints. But that's a rookie, though. Those are all facsimiles. They're just redesigning throughout the 70 years of tops. Seager. DH debuts. And we got a Joe Adele relic for Los Angeles. Uh, Angel's going to gym.
All right, guys. So let's continue on. We have uh, base, 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 base. Rookie, base, base, base. Numbered card here. That's Willie Castro, number to twenty twenty one. A little gold foil. Shane Bieber, Dane Dunning. Continue Foil, Willie Clark. Tell me if I'm wrong, guys. Let's see how you guys, are, how you guys are opinion. Let's say you're going to an Angels game or Dodgers game. Let's just say Angels Dodgers. All right, but think of it as your favorite team. So home game for your favorite team, of course. You're at the game. You know, of course, you're seeing jerseys from your own team, but then you're seeing jerseys from the away team, which would be like Cubs. But then in the mix of all of those teams, you have someone wear like an Angels jersey, or you have someone wear a Yankees jersey. Like, is it just me or does that grind your gears too? <laughs> it's like, why the hell are you gonna wear jerseys like that? Are you just like asking for attention? It just showed like, uh, one of the Dodgers players giving out autographs and in the mix of all of those blue jerseys, that was the Angels jersey. <laughs> Darvish to two ninety nine. That's cool. Padres, David Duffy, and we got a Chris Sale championship ring. Two thousand eighteen World Series champs. Uh, looks like a one eighty. Randy Rosarena, that's a cool design, 20, uh, 2002. <laughs> so you're okay with that, uh, TJ? Like someone wearing it? So I think it would be cool as, as long as it wasn't the team we were playing. No, that's like some random person just wearing like a random team. Like, you know, right now it's Dodgers, Cubs, but this dude is wearing like an Angels jersey. You know, or like a Yankees jersey, you know? But I get it. I mean, I, I know some people just do it because they don't care. I mean, that's right. It doesn't matter, right? I don't have to care about them wearing it either, but. It's like you could have went to an Angels game, right? But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some people can do that. They're just showing out. Hey, I'm from New York. I've never been to Dodger game, but I'm gonna show. I'm gonna wear my Dodgers or a Yankees jersey for sure. But I think for the most part, it's just people just randomly just doing it. I personally would just not wear my. Well, not that I wouldn't wear it, but like, I would just go like in normal clothes, you know. So again, that's just me.
Devin Williams, Mark McGuire, and Shane McCallahan. You are your Dawson Dudes to every game, support for your player. Nice. Yeah, it's always safer to have a player's jersey of like that's like a Hall of Famer already or like a legend for a specific team because I don't know. I feel like I always have bad luck when it comes to like my jerseys that I buy. You know, besides like my McNabb jersey, I think that's the only one that I've been able to like still, you know, wear to this day. You know, because like. Like, all these players that I end up getting jerseys from, they, like, either leave the team or they get traded, like, within a year or two. And it's, like, not that I can't wear it, but I just got to commit to a new player now. So, in a way, I've stopped buying jerseys, in a, in a way. Like, I just buy, like, more shirts and sweaters and stuff. Most recent one was Wentz. I got to wear that one for a couple years, though, so at least I was okay. I guess I could wear my Deshaun Jackson once he retires, because, I mean, even though he did come back to the Eagles, I mean, he's in LA now. Cabrian Hayes. cool thing about hockey jerseys is they sell them blank so I feel like hockey jerseys are kind of cool because they're pretty stylish for one point you know as a point but you don't really have to commit to a player really just wear blank jazz got a rookie there and killer off for the twins there's a lot of chipping at the top of this card. That's still very nice there. Minnesota Twins, that is EA. Ooh, that's a nice Ken Griffey insert. Yastrzemski. not cut right or something? There it is. It's a damn penny sluice. Alright, second half of the third box, guys. Chris Sale to 70. That's a cool one. Black Border. Boston Red Sox. It's going to uh, Jeffrey. And we got a relic here. Verdugo. Another one for the Red Sox. Twenty twenty one Yelly Springer
Tanner and a four ninety nine. That is uh, Mike Brosseau, Boba Shat, Byron Buxton. Shane McCallahan and Spencer Howard, local patch for the uh, Philadelphia Phillies. Debbie Garcia. All right, halfway through, guys. So I have about seven orders to go through, it looks like. All right, look at this. How about this, guys? Cubs and Dodgers, right? Playing today. We got Anthony Rizzo, who actually is batting right now. And then you got Mookie Betts. They go back to back. Whoa, could these actually be super fractors? Wow, one of one, Luis Robert. Wow, I didn't realize these could be super fractors. That is a one of one, Luis Robert for the White Sox. Going to Andrew. Wow, out of a box topper. How sweet is that? Would have been a great personal box. Ah, uh, you do not, Hollywood. Is he trout? No, Luis Robert. I didn't realize these could be one of ones. The box toppers. Oh shit! Yeah. Do you know that's what upsets me that those are loose? Yeah, because then yeah, it makes me so upset that they're loose. What if they're damaged? I openly said that. I was like, I yeah. was like, hey, what if we pull a super fractor or something like that and it's a loose one? Yeah. Damn it. And then we're in That was cool. Nick Madrigal. Mark McGuire.
Breakouts. And Kershaw starting off hot. It is to the wall warning track. Wow. Martin Select 7? Sweet. <clears throat> I really like Select this year. It was pretty nice. Get some color wheels today. So cool, man. All right, guys. Last three boxes here. <clears throat> Should pretty much take us to like about 
four fifty. So I'll be like maybe five, ten minutes ahead of schedule. That gives me enough time to quickly print out the labels and upload the video and stuff. Maybe go through the orders really quick as well. Trevor Bauer. Base, Kirk rookie. Kramer. The twenty twenty one is Gino Suarez. We got a rookie Yajor and a Alfonso Soriano. Yankees edition Alfonso Soriano. Wow, what an autograph. Look at that. Yankees. Drew with that one. Fonzo played a long time with uh, the Cubs, right? Stan Musel. I almost said this guy's been playing really good. Not that I know of, no, I don't think so. in a while, huh? Nah. Tees. <clears throat> All right, next. Oh, this is the second half of the first box. Sorry. To two ninety nine, Nolan Arenado, and we got Sicto Sanchez, Marlins relic. Brad Newman with that one. Joe Dell for the Angels.
Jake Cronenworth, Brian Hayes, Braylon Marquez, Carl Yastrzemski, that is a sharp print. I'm sure we will, Dark, at some point. It's just when it's an online exclusive. We usually don't get that stuff until weeks after. Just like how we did F1 and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we will. I just can't tell you when we'll get it. It could show up this week and we have it, or it could be in a few weeks. You know, if it was a hobby edition uh, release, then we'd easily have that on, on day one, you know. But I'm pretty sure we'll have that at some point. We just don't use, we just don't get it right when people start receiving it from tops. Jazz. Jose Altuve. Chipper Jones. And we got Sam Huff for the Rangers. Soto Retro. We'll throw back. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Nick's the one that orders it whenever he knows he's gonna get it, and then he'll just drop it. <laughs> you'll see like ten you'll see like twenty, twenty five picker teams of like five box breaks. Exactly. I don't think we did any F1 Sapphire over here, but it was the same thing. You know, a lot of people were asking us, when is the Sapphire coming out over here with us? And we didn't get it for a couple weeks. And then every time we got a new shipment in of like 30, 40 boxes, sold out the same night as personals. Which I'm pretty sure Bowman Sapphire is going to be the same way here. But I'm sure they'll be used more for breaks than they would for personals. Although I'm sure we're going to have to reserve now. A handful for personals, handful for breaks. Alright, two more boxes, guys. Cronenworth, Cabrian Hayes, Pearson I think everything was pick your teams I think it was like five box pick your team breaks yeah. yeah it'll be it'll be like that again I'm pretty sure at some point when did it start when did it start shipping for people like a week or two ago I think someone asked me last week but on the personal side So I'm sure soon. <clears throat> Campusano. Wilson Gonturas, foil. We also got a out of 76. That's a cool one. That is a rookie, Luis Alexander Basby. 
San Francisco. TJ with that one. Very nice. Gotcha, man. Yeah, hopefully soon, man. At some point, though. So just stock the website within the next couple weeks. I'm sure, if you already do that every day, then you're good. Because <laughs> it could be any day now. And we have for the Royals. 70 years of baseball autograph. Little KB. Cubic. Kansas City Royals, that is uh, Josh Exline. Dylan Carlson and Joey Barks. Uh, to 76, I believe. Is that the one you're talking about? It's like 4th of July, maybe. Stars and Stripes. Oh, this side you meant. Oh, is it because of color uh, jersey number? Sorry. You meant the first one over here. Yeah, that's 18. 18. Yeah, I want to say that if, you, if you're trying to get a color wheel, since it is a fresh case, I assume. Mike Trout is, is part of the color wheels. Ricky Henderson. He is one of the players in the color wheel checklist, so don't want to miss out on Mike Trout. I'm sure we'll get it done, guys. Somebody will take the Angels. Can't say we don't have any Angel fans in here. Xander Bogarts. Major League Materials. Kyle Schwarber, this dude's been raking, right? I go Phillies retro there. Cronenworth. Then you have like eight home runs in like four games or something crazy like that. And to 199, Sandy Alcantara. Our last stack right here, and then we have one box left. So 
499. That is uh, Andre Scrub. And a little Mariano Rivera championship rings, 2009 for the Yankees. Not numbered. Big head. Foil there. Aiken. To four ninety nine. Dakota Hudson. And Verdugo for the Red Sox. Autograph. Number 12 out of 199. Alright, last stack right here, guys, and then we still have the silver packs. To 199, Ramnal Tapia. And Casey Mize for Detroit. Number 18 out of 50.
Jazz. Rizzo. Jonathan Stevie here. Mike Trout. Chris Sale, short print. Nice break for the Red Sox. We have a rookie relic of Garrett Crochet. Oh man. That is gone. Grand slam. All right, sweet guys. Let's go through these silver packs now. And we'll do a quick little recap at the end. Good luck. Jerry Bart, Josh Bell, Blake Snell, Nate Pearson. Brian, uh, Ryan Jeffers, Luen Diaz, Francisco Lindor, Ryan Sandberg. Joe Adele, rookie. Jose Abreu. Tarek, and we got a gold Bryce Harper. Uh, I think it was uh, McKinstry. 41 out of 50. That was a very nice one right there. Phillies. Went to Harry. Cabrian Hayes, Barrios, Bryce Harper, and Randy Arozarena for the Rays. Going to David Duffy, that's number to 150. Corey Seager, Noah Syndergaard, Dylan Carlson, rookie, and Mike Schmidt. Juan Soto, Walker Bueller, George Springer, and Ken Griffey Jr. Haseon Kim, Kirby Puckett, Jose Altuve, and Jose Ramirez. Dane Dunning, Yu Darvish, Ron Racuna Jr., JT Ramuto. Luke Voyett, Jake Cronenworth, Aaron Nola, and Tyler Glass now. Trey Turner, Ozzy Albies, Mickey Moniak, and Whit Merrifield. Clark Schmidt, 
Sam Huff, McCutcheon, and a very nice color match, Ricky Henderson, green. That should be numbered to 99. And the last one here. Larry Walker, Castellanos, Verdugo, and a little mic drop. All right, the rookies are penny to the TV top loaded there. And there we go, guys. So, a little recap, quick recap. So, again, all the rookies, any, uh, you know, gold paper to 2021, any uh, foils, like I said, rookie foils, numbered cards, are all going to be on this stack pretty much. And we have a huge stack. And, of course, all the box toppers as well. Like I said, any numbered cards. We got them all right here. Like I said, bigger rookies. So all that's right there. And then here were the hits in every box, guys, pretty much. Rick Anderson, Rosarena, Bryce Harper, Gold. We got a rookie card, Garrett Crochet. Uh, short print, Chris Sale. Casey Mize Relic. Verdugo Autograph. A Relic, Yobarna, and a Rivera. Xander Bogart's Relic, Ricky Henderson Short Print, Chris Bubik, Autograph, uh, this was numbered to 76, which is really cool, Luis Alexander, Relic there, Logo Patch Sam Huff, a Cardio Stremski Rookie, or sorry, Short Print, not Rookie, Sicko Relic, we gotta top load that, Autograph Alfonso Soriano, Luis Robert, this one was really shocking, guys. This was a box topper, and it was a one-of-one one super fractor. So that was pretty cool. I got to take a photo of that. Uh, we have Verdugo Relic. Chris Sale, number to 70. The Black Border. Killer Off Autograph. Chris Sale's Championship Rings. Joe Adele Relic. Luis Patino Autograph. A short print of Alexander Kirk. Uh, Pache. Tatis Relic. Ty Cobb short print, Nick Nider autograph, and we have a Spencer Howard relic. So there you go, guys. That was all the main hits here. And Jumbo, pick your team number six of jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, coming up next, guys, uh, is the Collectors Repack. Jazbees for the Collectors, jazbees.com.